and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We should get our tape measure, Brad. We should be six feet apart. That's right. Uh, oh. Everybody practice that social isolation there or whatever. There you go. The social distance. That's all. Okay, how to crack your back between your shoulder blades. We're going to show you seven ways to do this. Mm. Uh, believe it, we're going to stay in our lane here. We're a physical therapist. All we're going to show you, these are going to be safe to do because we're going to basically show you stretches that may lead to a crack. Right. And in fact, quite often we tell you don't look for the crack or don't you know listen for the crack because it may or may not happen, but you'll still get benefit from the stretch. Right. So let's go ahead and, and oh, by the way, before we start, Brad, oh, yes. if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're always giving something away. Right now, we're giving away the TENS unit. There you I go. believe TENS unit. Fantastic for chronic pain. Get you off those opi opioids or those other narcotics. Uh, this is an a easy device to use, and it's fairly inexpensive. Right. So, yep. They're nice units. Uh, you can also find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. And if you want a short version of us, go to TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. 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 All right. First one. If you have a folding chair, Brad, um, the folding chairs often have a low back. Sure. So they hit you in that spot, you know, kind of in, in the mid back yeah. here. And that's right. the area we're talking about. A lot of people that get knots and stuff in there and pain in there. So that's a good place to stretch. This chair is pretty low. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend it's a folding chair. We sure. didn't have one in the place here. Take a towel and put it over the top of it. That'll help cushion it a little bit. A little more comfortable. Yeah. And it's very simple. All I'm going to have you do is, is bring your arms up. You can put them behind your neck like this or behind your head and just stretch back. Just slowly and under control. I just felt a little pop there, yep, Brad. Yep. Now, now, be... This is a good example of a chair that's too high. Yes. You know, if I did this, it... Eh, no, it's it's not going to work. It's too high. So show them what you can do. So you take a ball, and it works with a ball that, like this one's kind of flat, and that works better a soft ball or one that's like this that's flat. And you put that where you need to put it, and you'll tell it's right between the shoulder blades. And I'm going to do the same thing. You can do the the old the W stretch, hands behind the head. The, hallelujah. And I'm going to move the ball up, and you can change your position slightly. And you may get that crack that you're looking for at what level. One way or another, it's a good stretch. And it's going to help stretch out the pecs. It's going to help get those that posture where you want it, out and stretched. Yeah, uh, I've had patients that this is the only thing I showed them. Mm -hmm. And they got better with that quite sure. often when they have that mid-back pain. All right, the next one, Brad, if you can move the ball. Oh, yeah. This could be, you can do it with a foam roller. Um, Basically, almost the same thing. It's going to be the same principle with most of these. I'm going to get it into the mid-back here. And you can just roll back and forth. You can bring your arms up like this. You can keep them down, whatever you want to do. But you'll get into that spot. You like to roll more up into this area, Brad, don't you? Yeah, I do like to get up closer to the neck. This is a little bit harder on a mat. It's not rolling as well yeah. as it should. You need to do it. I like a carpeted floor works the best, in my opinion. One thing you don't want to do is roll down on the low back. Correct. Keep it to that mid section between here and that low neck. The other thing is you don't want to roll up into the neck too far. Either. Right. So. Exactly. We're so talking shoulder blades. We're on number, what number are we on? Number four. So this is called the back pod. Oh, yes. Now, I, this is my favorite thing. And the reason um, I use this every morning, I like it because you can get real specific on the areas of the back. Brad, do you mind turning around? Oh, like sure. So every morning while I'm doing my stretches, I lay and I place the back pod on this side, this side, down, 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 down. I hit six spots. Yep. And I don't even usually put it in the middle, Brad. I don't know if you do or not. No, I don't. I just stay off to the sides. And it's a real hard, but it's got a little bit of a cushioning on top. Right. For some of you, this will be too much. You won't even be able to handle this. Um, you'd have to start with a towel on it. Or yeah, sure. Yeah. Are we gonna show them how to use it? Because I don't know yeah. if it's really clear yet. You want to show it? Sure. 
So you now you've gotten to the point where you don't use a towel anymore. Right. right Initially, then. I did. I, I put a towel on it like that just to give a little more cushion. But after I got used to it, now I, I don't. And I don't use this. I use this mostly for costochondritis. I get chest pain. Uh, and this actually, this is why he invented this. Um, Steve, right. Steve. Steve from New Zealand. Yeah. You know, he's a physical therapist. He actually has got a nice video explaining on how this works for costochondritis, but uh, oh, there we go. I did get a cavitation, Bob. A little yeah. crack was there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, let me just tell you. Now, first off, this is very expensive. I, I wish it wasn't, um, but I think Brad and I know from from making products ourselves, it's really expensive to make molds, and then he's got to ship it from overseas, and my guess he's not making that much on it, but, but uh, they are expensive. I'm going to just warn you. I can tell you this, though. So it's a lot cheaper to buy this for, than for me to go to the emergency room because I got chest pain. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, but the thing is, there's a couple times I was not using this for a couple of days. One time was a recent funeral. And I'm starting to get this pain up in my neck and between my shoulder blades. And I'm like, gosh, I can't stop doing this for two days and my pain comes back. And that's the case, Brad. Like, I even got one of them. Um, on, we, when we go to our cabin Ooh, on the weekend. I just no. got another crack. There we go. Well, I'm, I'm glad, thinking, Bob. You I'm take glad this, you're happy. You should take this with you to weddings, to socials, wherever, and just, if, well, you, if you need it. Steve just sent me a couple, a bunch, so I'm going <laughs> to, I grabbed a couple already for the, uh, for my cabin. So yeah, anyway, bad. next one, uh, number five, you can actually go up to a door frame. I'm going to go to the corner here, Brad. You can go to corner, like a door frame would be here and here, and Everybody has one of these in their house, thankfully. And you, what you're going to do is you put your arms like this, and you're going to squeeze like this, and squeeze your shoulder blades together and really lean in. And a lot of times, just that will cause the cracking that you're looking for. Um, that, that If it doesn't crack, it's a great exercise it's a great for stretch. your posture. You can even do one arm at a time. Sure. And, you know, keep one arm on your hip and, and go forward like that. So which ones do we have left yet, Brad? Well, Number... I think we're at six. That was number six, the single. Number seven is the Booyah Stick. Oh, yeah. So we just found out this works really actually quite well. Yeah, you you get it up into that spot. Like uh, you can get it up even higher like this. I get it way up into the between the shoulder blades. I take my arms, my elbows, and I pull forward, and I lean back at the same time. Now, my back one's not cracking now because – Well, you've already cracked, cracked it all. I've cracked it all along. Yeah. So, but – just a, if I, I don't, I wouldn't say to go ahead and get a booyah stick for, just for this, <laughs> but if you're on the fence and you were thinking about getting one for your shoulder or some other issue that you got going on, this is a little bonus that'll work for you. So, yeah. All right, Brad, anything else you want to add? Ooh, no, no, I'm just feeling great, Bob. All right. I can keep you at a distance here. Oh, yeah. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go. But we got time to work on it now. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.